Hey everyone, uh, this is Alex USA Days. So I've been asked a question, what is the difference between Agile tester, full stack tester, or just like regular tester, Q engineer? Uh, so essentially, if you think about Agile versus full stack, uh, that would not be like a right approach. Because if you talk about Agile tester, this is a tester that work in a specific methodology. So Agile is a methodology that is used for software development and um, Q engineer in that methodology would be an Agile tester. So if you want to compare Agile tester with some other type of tester to put like a versus between them. You can think about uh, waterfall tester versus agile tester. Uh, and the difference in the testing will be in the methodologies uh, of the development itself. Because for waterfall testers, you will have most likely you will have long period that are allowed for testing because uh, testing is done uh, close to the completion of the product. Uh, you will uh, most likely going to have some regulations that you will be very fine. Uh, you will most likely going to be uh, following IEEE standards uh, for like task plans and so on. And uh, for Agile, you will be actually more like a embedded resource within Agile team. Uh, you will be mostly focused on testing features. You will be participating in team meetings and uh, meetings about acceptance criteria, about verifications, and you will be doing a lot of iterative testing. So as feature gets done, you verify it, new feature gets into work, you will verify it. So there's there will be a lot of iterations that you will be following essentially agile approach uh, for your testing as well. So I think um, that's the main, you know, highlight. What is Agile Tester? The, the Agile Tester is tester that uh, operates within Agile development team, uh, most likely embedded resource, uh, most likely does a lot of iterative testing and focus on uh, user acceptance testing, feature testing, and uh, regression testing. Where a waterfall tester is more like a more classical approach to testing with long testing periods when they verify the whole product, verify regulation, so it takes a long time. There's really a good dedicated uh, amount of time to the testing done and when the tester signs off it means the product is good to go ready to be shipped as a whole thing as a monolithic product now if we talk about full stack um, a tester can be agile and full stack a tester can be uh, waterfall and full stack full stack essentially means that you are a senior q engineer so i can consider myself uh, to be agile tester and a full stack tester, right? Or full stack QA engineer. That means that I'm capable of testing uh, front end, uh, back end, API, uh, database, some, you know, create automation. So a lot of different things. It's like if you talk about a developer, it could be full stack developer that they can do front end and back end. So full, full stack tester. Uh, can test multiple different things, front end and back end. The only thing is um, you can't really be a full stack tester and test everything by yourself. It, it's physically impossible. Um, you'll have, let's say you'll have white box testing, you'll have security testing, you'll have regression. You will have to create and manage your own documentation. Um, you'll have to test front end and do some automation and to keep track of everything. So essentially there's not enough time to do everything. So if you can do most of the things or uh, you can con consider yourself as a full stack tester, but it doesn't mean you will be doing everything because it's impossible, right? Um, testing, many times testing is about priorities, right? And sometimes priority shift, you will shift those priorities to do more adequate testing, to do more coverage. Um, and in some companies, it might be important to do some user acceptance testing and be focused uh, on regression. In other companies, uh, closer to maybe important releases, it would be more important to be focused around uh, regulations, maybe government regulations or certain requirements that you can't really break uh, because if you do that, uh, you will break the law, right? So um, I think, I think there, I mean, there's a lot of terminology, right? That and as the industry evolves, tech industry evolves, uh, QA evolves with it and adapts. Uh, some industries keep the old terminology and 
old approaches like waterfall tester uh, or QA engineer and uh, the standards there don't really allow much of change because there's certain procedures in place as a safeguard right if you're work in airspace you don't really want to go agile and start kind of breaking things fast fixing them fast uh your product have to be almost perfect otherwise you know people can get hurt right um and if you work in an agile industry requirements might change every sprint things might you know get updated really quickly and you have to respond and you get your own terms there as agile tester um some scrum tester i don't know you you'll have new uh buzzwords like shift left approach and things like that uh, so those things just kind of start you know piling up and now you have to understand okay where's this term coming from uh where's this term coming from uh but essentially if someone talks about agile testing just con consider them working in agile fast-paced environment uh, they are embedded in the team uh they do a lot of iteration testing they have a lot of uh, communication within the team most likely don't have they don't have like a QA department they work within a team uh, agile team or scrum team now if we talk about waterfall they're more of a like corporate kind of QA department dev department uh, before it goes to from development it goes to QA and then someone signs off in QA and then it goes further on right uh, more kind of a like streamlined classical approach to development uh, and if we talk about full stack, that just means that person is capable of doing different types of testing, mobile, front end, back end, API, database, some automation and so on. Uh, but again, doesn't mean that they're doing everything because that would be impossible. You will burn out. I mean, sometimes you, that there's a reason, there's a good reason where uh, if you have a bigger company they have separations of tests right and testing they would have like a qa department they would have a manual department they will have for the for the qa they would have some feature specific testing they would have some regulations like uh, localization testing and so on and so on uh, because there's a lot of things that need to be covered there's a lot of expertise that people build over time and you know if you'll be just doing everything even though if you're capable to do everything uh you're just gonna start seeing a lot of things go through and uh in the end impact the quality of the product right the quality gonna go down so it's inadequate to say uh you really want a tester if you talk about embedded uh, testing, you want a tester per team per project. Uh, if we talk about agile testing, right? So tester is dedicated to that particular project. Sometimes even two, one might be involved in more of a manual uh, functional verification. Other would be more involved in creating automation and maintaining uh, automation and making sure that regressions are running fine. Uh, if you talk about like waterfall uh, model uh, then you'll have a QA department and the amount of testers can you know be relatively high but normally we will consider like ratio uh, one to two one to three so one QA two developers one QA three developers um, but I mean it's really hard to give like a good number here because everything is really really boils down to what product it is how big is the company what uh, methodology are they using for their development approach um, and you know there's so many variations so what type of industry right i will say that it's a different thing if you're like in automotive and you're testing tesla and then if you're you know testing some gaming app on a mobile or if you know you work in the healthcare industry it's completely different set of tests that you need to run uh, even though the foundation right the idea stays the same because testing in my appearance a lot of it comes from a mindset right so you have to have a certain view you have to have a certain approach and understanding okay how is this going to work what will customer do um, that kind of a thing so a lot of that comes from the mindset a lot of this comes from like a foundational understanding of the process how do you uh, analyze problem like breaking it in, in parts how you approach something that you're not sure how to approach and how you test it right 
um, and then attention to details that there are other qualities that are important for a tester. Uh, but essentially, um, foundation is very similar, right? Testing is uh, is verifying that product meets certain standard and quality, right? Uh, but when you talk about specifics uh, for each different different industry, everything is going to be very different. Okay, so hopefully that helps to explain the difference between uh, agile tester, waterfall tester, full stack tester, um, and then I guess senior queue engineer, right? That would be also full stack uh, tester, full stack queue engineer. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. This was Alex USA Days and bye bye.